assalam alaikum yes you all are waiting for the important question and answers for hospital and clinical pharmacy of your d pharmacy second year okay this is our second subject we are discussing important notes important questions and answers okay though those questions which carries a 4 marks a 13 marks and 14 marks everything clear and this belongs to uh, d pharma students those who are studying in a second year diploma in pharmacy ha huh. now see this type of uh, subjects i am providing for you with answers ha huh, definitely with answers sir now already already we have completed one subject that is uh, pharmaceutical chemistry 2 in this subject uh, we will uh, go we will overview on hospital and clinical pharmacy of your diploma in pharmacy second year and this one is the part 1 inshallah tomorrow uh, we will set up your uh, part 2 so let's uh, discuss what is this uh, define hospital give its function what question i had framed you know in this uh, booklet in this book, book form uh, these questions uh, are uh, repeated asked in our examination hmm so hospital see it is an institution that is built staffed and equipped for the diagnosis of disease okay this is one institution which is built staffed means staff members means all doctors or nurses are present there and equipments are present which can be diagnosed okay it treats both the sick and the injured those who are sick and injured both it can be treated where in the hospital then the modern hospital also op- often serves as a center for investigation and for teaching the function it takes a patient care it diagnoses and give treatment for disease it provides a service for uh, outpatients means the patient which will come at midnight like 2 am 3 am for those patients the hospitals are providing the good service at night then medical education and training also provided in the hospital then medical and nursing research prevention of disease and promotion of the health good health okay uh, maintaining the good health property so these all are the functions of the hospital <coughs> now the next question second question describe the organization of hospital see hospital how the hospital should be what organization should be maintained in the hospital see hospital is an organization and institute of a public health and welfare okay then organization of hospital board is present then executive executives department administrators okay then patient care uh, managers everything these all are the organizers okay now let's study one by one in detail first one let's go across the board see all hospitals include some form of a governing body responsible for making high level decisions about the organization means in every institute hospital not only hospital everywhere you see there is a board of management which is held on top of the rank okay these board they have set it down to uh, means mainly these board members those who are there no they will maintain all the things in the hospital maximum these are the head the board of directors is the highest in the hospital chain of a, a command then executives in the hospital leadership structures executive are responsible for managing the organization they makes a financial decision and overseeing business strategy all the these uh, so which one business things uh, cash amount withdrawal all these are uh, under the hands of executives okay then department administrators it reports to the hospital executives and manage the day to day operations of the hospital department structure the chief surgeon or surgery is responsible for overseeing daily activities within the surgical department means those who are in a chief now chief in surgery chief in derma those of physiology which is in a, he he should be a with a older experience or greater experience like 20 years 10 years means he should be chief in that c h i e f chief head in the particular medical association or medical survey then only he can hold this department administration then patient care managers nurse managers supervising officers physicians these individual manage small group of professionals who provide direct patient care they ensure that orders are carried out then they 
हॉस्पिटल एम्प्लॉज आर फुलफिलिंग देर ड्यूटीज अप्रोप्रिएटली और नॉट एवरी थिंग दीज इज कैरिड बाय पेशेंट केयर मैनेजर्स ओके द पेशेंट्स आर ट्रीटेड वेल और नॉट दो दीज ऑल थिंग्स आर कंट्रोल्ड बाय द पेशेंट केयर मैनेजर्स देन डिस्कस द रोल ऑफ क्लिनिकल फार्मासिस्ट सी रोल ऑफ क्लिनिकल फार्मासिस्ट ही और शी मीन्स द फार्मासिस्ट शुड मेंटेन गुड ड्रग थेरेपी मॉनिटरिंग देन अकाउंटेबल फॉर मेंटेनिंग द कॉन्फिडेंटियालिटी एंड सिक्योरिटी ऑफ ऑल द हॉस्पिटल रिलेटेड एक्टिविटीज सर्व एज अ प्रिसेप्टर फॉर फार्मासी स्टूडेंट्स ही शुड बी गुड फॉर द फार्मासी स्टूडेंट्स ही शुड गिव इज नॉलेज टू द फार्मासी स्टूडेंट्स हैव द एबिलिटी टू वेरीफाई द मेडिकेशन प्रॉपरली देन शुड प्रोवाइड अ ड्रग इन्फॉर्मेशन दे शुड टेक केयर ऑफ द पेशेंट द स्टॉक ऑफ मेडिकल इक्विपमेंट्स एंड सर्जिकल इक्विपमेंट शुड बी मेंटेन्ड दे शुड हैव गुड नॉलेज ऑन द ड्रग दीज ऑल आर द रोल ऑफ द फार्मासिस्ट वट इज दिस रोल वॉट अ फार्मासिस्ट शुड कैरी नाउ डिस्क्राइब द प्यूरिटी टेस्ट फॉर अब्जॉर्ब एंड कॉटन इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू राइट वॉट इज दिस अब्जॉर्ब एंड कॉटन इट इज द रॉ कॉटन मेड फॉर द एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ ब्लड और अ लिक्विड mainly used in surgical dressings now purity test is dip 1 gram of adsorbent cotton into the 0.5 ml iodine tex solution for 1 minute and wash well with water there should be no colored fibers found after washing this with water there should be no uh, colored form there means no brown color iodine yes literally it is brown in color when you dip the cotton in the iodine no after washing of the iodine iodized cotton it should not leave any thread like structures there okay then dyes take 10 g of adsorbent cotton and 100 ml of ethanol leave it macerate means leave it to mix then press and transfer 50 ml of resulting liquid to the nesler tube observe from above the liquid may show some yellowing but it does not develop any blue or green color after squeezing that adsorbent cotton Uh, you collect the squeezed up means you collect the liquid in the nestler cylinder then you observe they should be in a yellow color okay the liquid should not be in blue or green color color this is the identification test now let's go towards the fifth equation of our today's lecture fifth one what is a drug information bulletin give its importance see drug information bulletin it is a information based on the drugs where it gives updates on side effect and assessments of the group of drugs mainly information of the drugs is given by this drug bulletin the information bulletin the basic aim is to promote the use of drug the bulletin helps to communicate between a regulatory authority and the prescribers okay a regulatory authority and the prescribers main words now what is the importance of the drug information bulletin it promotes the information about drugs yes then it uh, gives a poison management information yes sure it provides a patient education services assistance on drug usage in patient the newly drug can be easily known they assist the public and health care providers during hazardous material spills it helps to perform research immediate information to treat poison related problems these all importance has been stored in the drug information bulletin now next one uh, enumerate the factors affecting bio availability means you have to write the factors which affecting the bio availability see one is uh, absorption of food physical properties enzyme the, then uh, disease state these all are the properties let's state study one by one absorption greater the absorption of a drug more will be the bio availability now for an example you are taking 500 mg of a paracetamol if 500 mg of paracetamol if it absorbs 500 ml accurate then what happens the bio availability the bio availability of that drug is greater if absorption is reduced to 250 mg or 300 mg the bio availability of that particular drug is decreased simple then food the drug taken with or without food also influence bio availability for an example gastric tablets or capsules or any drinks those should be taken before food after uh, what happens if you take after food means means they not pro- uh, work properly like the after uh, after food for an example see the gastric uh, tablet pentaprodal 40 mg if you take means uh, or before food okay it works in 95% to digest the food but if you take after food means what happens the property the mechanism the bio availability the acting property is reduced to 75 80% okay because of the bulginess of the stomach 
okay for that reason and physical properties see the drugs physical properties play a vital role here such as pk value solubility then hydrophobicity temperature these all are the physical properties enzyme increase the rate of metabolism is enzyme also a good property good factors that disease state these factors may vary from patient to patient that is poor renal function patients will absorb the drug less than the good functional renal means those who are having the kidney problem their absorption of the drug is very less when compared to the normal patient see define adverse drug reaction what is the role of pharmacist in adverse drug reaction adverse drug reaction is the harmful or unpleasant drug reaction resulting from the use of the medicinal product sometimes what happens the drug shows their adverse reaction why means because of the interactions because of the complications this drug reaction provides hazardous health damage the main cause is a pharmacologic effect of the drug okay due to the pharmacologic effect of the drug it causes the dangerous effect then role of pharmacist in drug uh, adverse drug reaction that is adr what is the role how he can maintain that uh, situation the pharmacist should able to maintain the problem and carry his best to come out from adverse drug reaction he should try his best and at that condition valuable assist to healthcare team he should uh, immediate immediate call to the healthcare team then pharmacist should monitor monitoring high risk patient first you have to give your priority for the high risk patient those who are having a high greater adverse drug reactions you have to give priority for them he or she should find a cause for adr adverse drug reaction first find the cause that okay from which purpose why it happens okay what is the cause behind this you have to know that then check the previous report correctly means uh, the doctor is giving the report no prescription you read that uh, thoroughly some of the indications are there some of the restrictions are given by the doctor you have to read that all and then pharmacist should calm down the patient first from fear first immediately you calm down the patient from fear because some patient get get excited from fear so please tell him sir don't um, be so what do you call so sweaty or don't be so hurry hurry in a way because uh, sometimes it will happens you don't worry you said to sit calm no fearness about here it will it will gone okay you don't worry about that you give him a this type of the positive statements clear then immediate call with the senior pharmacist or doctor means registered doctor arrest doctor registered registered doctor then next one 9 to 8 question discuss the signs and symptoms and treatment of barbiturate poisoning see barbiturate these are the drugs that cause relaxation and sleepiness this poisoning occurs when someone takes more than the normal amount of medicines now see signs altered or de- decreased consciousness coordination problem muscle weakness lack of balance these all are. symptoms shallow breathing then uh, respiratory problem clammy skin slow heart rate treatment assessment and stabilization of airways means mainly for giving the uh, mechanical ventilation okay then oxygenation then rewarming the body maintaining of a blood volume furosemide 250 mg is given for the patient then activated charcoal one of the best treatment and other adsorbent should be given for that patient okay immediately then next one the our last uh, questions of today's lecture question number 9 give the normal values and significance of the following esr rbc blood pressure and cholesterol see esr is erythrocyte sedimentation rate normal value 0 to 20 to, uh, 0 to 22 mm per hour for men and 0 to 29 mm per hours for women okay this is the sedimentation rate of the erythrocyte then it helps to measure how quickly rbc settle down at the bottom how quickly rbc settle down in the bottom that is the here sedimentation rate then rbc yes you know normal value 4.7 to 6.1 million cells per micro liters in men then in women 4.2 to 5.4 million cells per micro micro liter of blood okay then significance yes red blood cell contain a substance called hemoglobin which transport oxygen around the body Uh, then blood pressure normal value value of this bp that is a 90 bar 60 mm of hg to 120 bar 80 mm of hg then significance normal bp is important for the proper flow of blood from the heart to the body's organs and tissues 
if the blood raises increases means what happens there is a chance of organ damage burst of the arteries veins which causes to organ damage then cholesterol normally range ldl less than 100 mg per dl then hdl 40 mg per dl or maybe higher see here ldl low density lipoprotein hdl high density lipoprotein low density lipoprotein it is a bad cholesterol hdl high density lipoprotein it is a good cholesterol then it helps to build a structure of the cell membrane it helps to make hormones like estrogen testosterone what is a ptc writes its function see pharmacy and a therapeutic committee evaluates educates and advises medical staff and organization administration all the matters pertaining to the use of medication okay organize organizational administration in all matters pertaining to the use of medications mainly they will give the dosage use instruction for the patient it is a medi medication management in health sector now composition here see at least three phys physicians from the medi medical staff a pharmacist nursing staff hospital administrator like a director then quality assurance coordinator consumer means it's optional huh, these all are the composition of the p t c pharmacy and therapeutics committee now the question number 11 explain the steps involved in patient counseling see first we will we will understand what is this patient counseling the video will be um, a greater so please cooperate with this video it is very helpful for you okay the length of this video will be maybe see 17 minutes maybe maybe it goes to 20 minutes so please cooperate it refers to the process of uh, providing vital information about drug and administration procedure for the patient this helps to take the medi medicines properly then steps involved in patient counseling provide accurate information use language that patient is likely to understand use the appropriate uh, counseling aids to support counseling present the fact and order in a logical order maintain con maintain control and direction of the counseling session how to take the medicine you have to advise him you have to tell the patient then uh, possible advice side effects adverse side effects you have to tell them side effects like sir don't take tetracycline in this one don't take uh, tetracycline in the dairy products you have to give some of the this type of the information so then storage recommendation then drug interaction these all are the steps involved in the patient counseling last question of our today's session uh, give what advice must be given to patient using liquid paraffin tetracycline chloramphenicol and diazepam liquid paraffin see take liquid paraffin 100 ml with or without food should be taken as long as your doctor has prescribed for you okay don't uh, skip the dose here okay until your doctor doesn't say anything then tetracycline it should be taken on an empty or full stomach drink a full glass of water with each dose of the tetracycline do not take tetracycline with dairy products like milk or any type of the dairy products milk butter ghee then chloramphenicol keep using this medication for a full time of the treatment even if your symptoms begin to clear up after few days you know that after 3 days my symptoms will be vanish but although you have to take this medicine Uh, for three, two days uh, uh, more okay you don't skip the dose uh, by your choice ask your doctor take the prefer preferred doctor take the preference from your doctor registered doctor then only you skip the dose then don't miss any dose very important the diazepam this is a you know that sedative one it is a then do not stop taking this uh, medication without asking to your doctor stopping diazepam suddenly cause a worsen your condition it may cause uh, your condition in a worse means diazepam it is a sedative it is given to uh, stimulate the cns control nervous system if you skip this dose or you quit this dose means uh, it cause the severe uh, brain damage or problems so your doctor probably will decrease your diazepam dose uh, gradually you don't worry if uh, uh, he knows the doctor knows uh, that the patient is in a normal condition now he is becoming gradually normal then your doctor may deduce that uh, drug dosage okay yes my dear brothers and sisters these are the very very important questions for your hospital and clinical pharmacy of your d pharmacy second year go through these questions with answers thank you assalam alaikum